Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mech Warrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Hellfire because I wanted to play another Ultra AC20 build and the Hellfire is pretty pretty good at it because as you can see, it has a narrow profile. No, it's a wide profile but a flat profile, um, but it has the auto cannon very much on the high shoulder hard point here, which means it's cockpit level and that means if you can see your enemies, you can most likely shoot them. Our uh, support weapons are four heavy medium lasers utilizing all of the energy hard points and the cool thing about this mech here is that it has access to a mask and that makes it so that you can quickly peek around the corner shoot the enemies with all of your might and then pull back to safety rather quickly this is not really for uh, long sustained sprints or um, endurance runs actually uh, but it's just like for peeking for peaking, it's absolutely great. We run the biggest engine on top of that, the 290XL, and the rest is just heat management and an overabundance of ammunition here. That's really good, that's plenty, that's just enough for you to succeed in most of the cases. Now, let's take a look at the skill build before we dive into the games here. We have invested into the firepower tree quite a lot here because I wanted, obviously, magazine capacity and enhanced UAC jam duration as well as the laser durations because the heavy lasers, they have quite a substantial laser burn and reducing them makes so much sense. I also have almost maxed out the survivability tree as you can see here and then the rest is just uh, heat management. We are not going for rated deprivation here because I think I should be able to uh, dive down to cover quickly enough with our mask and then one value point in the consumable slot and that is the build everybody. I hope you have a good time with the video here and if you do then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network, we are playing Skirmish and of course I want to regroup with my, or group up with my Assault Max. Actually, let's take this ramp here. Let's take this because it's uh, it's better, it's closer and uh, the other one is completely cluttered with Assault Max. So, here we go! Where are we going actually? To the center of the map, I believe. Hello Summoner, please let me go down here. Yeah, uh, people are massively afraid and ooh, there's long range, there's a lot of... AC2, LB2 coming from the outskirts. But yeah, I want to kind of support my Fafne here, who's running PPC seemingly. Alright. And I do hope that the ba balance of the audio is okay. There was a Windows update, and whenever that happens, uh, my, my audio is completely messed up. Don't stand out there and take damage if you're not winning your chase. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Listen to Dame. Dame said, uh, don't stand out there and take damage when you're not winning the trades. This is so, so important. Right just putting a mech to the front line, soaking up damage when there is no point of soaking up damage. If you cannot put out some damage at the same time. Uh, okay. So, one of us is dead. Our Fafni got a bit damaged. We got a kill in return. Okay, there's nobody here. There is nobody in the center. Okay, I bring up my UAV. Oh, there they come. So much there for there is nobody in the center. Can I take this? So, I want to deny them the information. <laughs> this is super important. Alright, we know that everybody is there. Let's try to find an angle here. Okay. Oh, there they are. Alright, there was good damage to his left side also. Question is... Can we continue from here? Missiles are done. Let's go. I'm just peeking with my auto cannon. Nothing else. <laughs> I'm too scared for the lasers. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, and there's the jam, that's fine. Speaking of trades, those trades were good, because I dealt more damage than I received, in general. I'm not sure if that's true anymore, after the missile barrage, and after the artillery strike. Ugh. Can we make a move forward, guys? I think we are sitting ducks here. Roger. Right side, dropping to the trench, kill them all. Something like that. Alright, let's go trench. Let's go, let's do it, right now. Let's get the Fafni first, he's scary. And the jams, okay. Cool, so we are here. I mean, with a, with a jammed auto cannon, I don't really want to be the one on the front line. I don't want to be the one on the front line in my Hellfire anyway. Oh, but we need to do something. Let's go. And another jam. Oh my god, in the most unfortunate situation. But here we are. We have to go all in now. That was a mask here. Bit of uh, irritation on my aim. Okay, we got him. And uh, Marauder 2C. I don't really want to put my back over here, but okay, I, can, I kind of have to. Doo -doo -doo. Hello, dragon! Running ER larges, I see. It's the left side that we have to shoot. 
Good twisting. Good splash. Alright, I need to get away from this guy. There's nothing I can win there. Annihilator. However, yeah, let's go. Ah, no, that's a Fafni. That's my friend. Good shot. Get the Annihilator at least. Come on, we can do it. Um, he's down. He's also down, as in dead. Wait a second, this is winnable. That's absolutely winnable. Let's drop behind him. Using my mask for a burst of speed. Getting behind him. He's not aware. Got him. Alright, five and seven. We're still in it, guys. We can do it. Um, this was a very important kill. Guys behind me, though. Alright, we need to get to high ground. It's important. Okay, uh, spider right side, one shot. I think we are still in this, as I was saying. Oh, the spider needs to go. Okay, you guys are busy up there, good. That's, that's really good. Oh, the jams again! I am not in a comfortable situation here. Absolutely not. Here's the spider, by the way. He's right next to me. Does he have seismic? I really do hope he has not. Got him, nice! 10 and 7. What can we do here? Just shoot regularly into the into the fight there. Haha, <laughs> what's that echo guy? Okay, we got this guy. It's 8 and 10! Um, there was a guy here shooting something into the outskirts, also low signal. That was a marauder. Hello! And <laughs> down I go. Man, that was an intense fight, but we couldn't bring it to the end, sadly. Uh, maybe my, my other guy can't do it? I doubt it, but... Yeah, <laughs> shut down. It was a good comeback attempt, it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> MRM Bukake, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Blah. So... I wish I could do it again. Sorry, guys. GG. I really enjoyed this game, although we lost. It was really tense, it was really cool. We had the struggle to win, but we didn't quite get it done. Now we got four killing blows, we got... Uh, what is that? Two assists, uh, we got three kill most damage dealt, 709 damage as well as five components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing Polar Highlands. We are playing Domination. At least it's Domination, so everybody will be in the circle. Everybody will be in around the Hotel 8, Hotel 9, India 8, India 9 area. Like, those four quadrants. Or let's say those, uh, what is that, 16 here. That is the main fighting situation. And that's cool, because we are rather short range and we need the enemies in proximity. And that mode here, at the very least, although being Polar Highland, brings the people together. It brings the family together, it brings the friends together as well as the enemies so let's try to get something done here at uh, the first phase of the game we are probably not doing that much since again we we have to be somewhat close to the enemy that is a vapor eagle at 500 meters though we can shoot him so 500 is perfectly fine for me okay i mean we hit the guy in the back okay never mind that does nothing and now we are getting missiled i tried to mask my way out of this and it actually worked so cool, let's recharge the mask and then we can peek, because that's really good, but uh, that's what mask enables us, peeking. Okay, so getting that forward and backward burst is really handy. Okay, those guys are a bit of a problem. I don't want to get shot by those long range dudes on the right side, but if we can peek against the close dudes on the left side, it would be amazing. Still nothing. Oh, there's a guy coming up. And it was yell. Probably a pop tart, something like PPCs or medium pulse, okay. Not the best shot in the world, but we dealt damage without receiving some. So that's good. That is exactly what I wanted to get here. Uh, okay, that's a bit too cocky. No no no. I think I'm the only one peeking right now, so if the enemies find somebody, if they if they go for a counter peek, they will see me and uh, me alone. So I'm not gonna do it. We will stick to the team. Uh, shall we push over, or what's the plan? Uh, let's see, this guy is in very good range. Cool, very good. Left side on the Annihilator, bravo. Or right side. Go. That's a side to also destroy, perfect. That is half of his firepower down, perfect. Yeah, he gave up. Cool, that's a kill. Okay, keep pushing guys! Go for the big guys first. Easiest target first. Good shot. I should probably not shoot my heavy mediums in that range, since uh, I would only deal a fraction of the damage that I could deal. This is better. 
masking back, by the way. So always using my burst of speed. And I want to stick to the big guys here. Let's see. This guy is dead. Perfect. And honestly, I should have stayed there. I know that they have a UAV here, but they are so busy moving around that it's not even a problem. We have them. We have them where we want them, which is running away from us. Absolutely intimidated. And now we go in and kill them. It's important to keep up the pressure at this point. Absolutely. Cyclops is a good target. Warhammer 2. Okay, uh, Charlie in the back. Let's get him. His side torsos are so damaged. There's one down. No, not quite. What? Come on. There is the guy down. There we go. He's overheating to death. Speaking of death, uh, it seems very, very likely that we die if they turn around. But they don't, which is very much appreciated. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a little guy here. Let's get that guy. That's, uh, he's not that little, actually. Let's go for the Uziel. Man, that's a messy, messy fight. Side torso? No, it's the arm that was down. That guy is XL, by the way. So, that's the five medium pulse. If you see five medium pulse, or six even, I don't know, uh, on the Uziel, then you can assume that's an XL engine in most of the cases. Cool, we are 10 and 2. This actually worked out. As soon as you have momentum, keep it up, especially on Polar Highlands Domination, because here is no cover. There is no cover here. You have to fight in team cohesion. You have to use your bodies as, um, you know, your shields, basically. And... When people are getting panicked, when the morale is broken, people just try to get behind each other, which means that, um, again, they, there is no, no point of reconsolidation when your cover, which is your teammates, is always moving away from you. Then the people just try to stick to them. And um, if there was something like, I don't know, Solaris City, a mining collective, your cover wouldn't run away from you. So you can just go somewhere, regroup, reconsolidate, cool your, cool your, um, you know, your mind down. And then go in again as a group. But if the group is constantly running away like that, you, you just don't do anything anymore. So in the, our situation here, it was the best thing that we could have done. That was, uh, yeah, just keeping up the momentum, keeping up the pressure. So, yeah. Indie Rectum is uh, disconnected. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So. Good job, team. That was hell of a fight here. I love those open field brawls. They are great. They are great if they obviously go in your favor. But hey, here we are winning the game. This time. Next time it might not be uh, us who are winning. Anyway, we got two kills, eight assists. We got four kill most damage dealt. We got 649 damage. We got eight components destroyed. And that has been your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, you can go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.